Now, all new at 5 o'clock, it's a site that's unfortunately becoming too familiar on Biscayne Bay. Dead fish all over portions of the bay for the second summer in a row. It has residents concerned and scientists taking action to figure out why, but more importantly, how to address this recurring problem. CBS 4's Dave Warren has a story. Below the surface of Biscayne Bay, there's a problem. That problem surfaced again this summer. I went to the ocean and then I started seeing all these fish trying to get some oxygen. And then you start seeing that they are going to die. Fernando Fiskman was not alone. All over North Biscayne Bay, people started seeing and smelling dead fish. The cause? So the basic driving factor is the organisms are being stressed because they don't have enough oxygen near the bottom where they live. Chris Langdon is a professor of marine biology at the Rosenstiel School. He's familiar with these fish kills. One happened last year. Normally these events don't repeat, you know, back to back. That's why he's out on the bay, taking water samples that will be analyzed. All right. Low oxygen seems to be formed in very specific areas. Why is it forming there? And then it seems to to spread out. So what are the conditions that create those? The recent findings are not good. So the larger the dot, the lower the oxygen. Those larger dots in this study are near canals and along the coasts. So those canals are a source of fresh water. They're also a source of a lot of the nutrient runoff into the bay. Nutrients from fertilizer and septic tanks, which now struggle against the rising water table. Combine this with light wind and warm temperatures, and you get a series of events that leads to low oxygen and less seagrass. The system is more fragile. Is a, is a way to put it due to the long term effects of the nutrient pollution. It's samples like these that will be used to see how we can fix the current problem. It's called a bioassay experiment. It'll help us figure out which nutrient we should be most concerned about controlling. But also determine if we are getting better or worse year to year. That's a concern for him and those that live on or around the bay. It's something that we have to not to leave in the politicians and all these authorities' hands. It's, it's about individual stuff as well, so we have to take conscious of, of what's going on. No? Uh, so it's samples that are taken like these that will help us get a better understanding of the processes that lead up to these fish kills and maybe even work on a solution. Even with that solution, still looks like it's a long process. On Biscayne Bay, I'm Dave Warren, CBS 4 News.